What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? <laughs> it's funny that uh, a subscriber, a follower, a follower on TikTok DM me these uh, couple of clips that we about to talk about. We about to talk about this one, y'all. This, this one right here, rookie on rookie violence. This gentleman right here, something else. Something else. Now, before I start, I want to say that I always say that TikTok isn't made for grown-ups. It never was. This app wasn't intended to be made or to be used by grown-ups. But, of course, 20 22, here it is. This app has been taken over by nothing but grown-ups doing kid shit on this app. Kids love to dance. They love to play. They love the voiceovers. And everything that kids do, they loved about it. But now... The app has been taken over, run amok by a whole bunch of different uh, communities. There's a lot of communities on this app, and particularly the trucking community. This is where everybody comes for their now trucking content. There's trucking live feeds there's trucking tutorials there's trucking companies that's advertising through tiktok their trucking companies and then there's this driver now i never i, I never knew uh I, I never knew <laughs> i always thought that you know there's guys you know, that was on the backside of TikTok that always look and watch and see what it is. But we didn't know that they actually would come get into the trucking industry and then come on TikTok like they would never get found out. Let's see. Now, first, before we see, all right, before we see, um, I'm not trying to give him no clout or anything like that, you know, I'm just reacting. At, at first, it was a couple of videos, but of course, me being me, you know, went to research. And here you are, bad-mouthing Swift. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Swift for showing me not how to do it. What the fuck? Bro, you about to hit the damn barriers. That shit ain't going to work. But we did come from, like, we was parked on this side instead of that side where it would be easier. But, oh, my God, man. I actually want to see if he's going to, how he's going to do this shit. So here you are on the back side of, uh, of Swift. And you are here talking about how you about to mess up and everything. And, of course, I'm going to stop because I used to be that guy, still that guy, that said, hey, why not get out of the truck? Because by the looks of it, he can't see what's going on on the right side of the truck. Would have been nice if you would have got out of the truck and said something about it. Like, yo, yo, driver, you know, you're a little bit close to the barrels, whatever, whatever. But let's see what you was talking about in this clip. Oh, Swift. Oh, Swift. Swift, it's a straight line back, straight line back. You're making it more difficult than it is. What in the fuck? Why are you turning that way? Just straighten your wheel up. Oh my God, now he's gonna give up. Oh my God, Swift, are you kidding me? It was a straight line back. Yes, sir. Yeah, just a straight line back, Swift. Oh, Swift this, Swift that. So easy to talk about Swift drivers and their inexperienced out here. But, but 
lo and behold, I come to find out that you, driver, mm, you have some shortcomings. Let's see what you did. Oh, so what is that? What is that? What is that? Is that your truck that you try to blur out or the company that you drive for? Is that your truck turning off the highway, which looks like a, a service road? Is that your truck that's in the ditch? Is that it looks like there was cones there, my guy. A couple of cones is right there on the bottom of the truck, bro. Is that your truck? Again, that you blurred out for the people who can't find out who you drive for? Don't worry about that, driver. We'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But let's see how you try to make excuses. This is what I would have ended up driving onto had I not got stuck in that ditch. This is absurd. This road should have been closed off. This doesn't make any kind of sense. So let's talk about that, driver. Obviously, the road was closed off. Yeah. Yeah. If you hadn't have gotten that ditch, you would have got down that road and probably would have went into a worse situation. <laughs> Funny. Funny how that is, but yet you're the same driver, the same driver now that talks about Swift drivers and how they came back up. Swift for showing me not how to do it. What the fuck? Bro, you about to hit the damn barriers. That shit ain't going to work. But we did come from, like, we was parked on this side instead of that side where it would be easier. But, oh, my God, man. Back up. I actually. Here you driving forward, my guy. What that says about you. Let's continue. Let's continue down this magical road. How about this one? See, I got to raise up all the way to say here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, not yet. Not yet. We, we won't talk about that one yet. No, no, no. We won't talk about that one yet. We're, we're, we're still on the road that you wasn't supposed to be on. We're still on that one. So how, make this make sense. If this, if this entrance ramp is closed and that one over there is the correct one, because you see this is closed as rocks and gravel. Why was there no cones? Like there's cones right here on the sides. Why was there no cones blocking it? This is what happens in South Carolina, Newberry County, when you do shit like this. You don't put cones, letting people know. You put cones on the side to show them where the ditch is at, but you don't put cones blocking the road. Like this is still a road that people can take. Make this make sense. Yes, exactly, driver. When you do stuff like that. I mean, you did show that the cone Actually, a couple of cones, a few cones is up under the trailer. You said that that area was supposed to be, uh, you, you said it yourself that that area was supposed to be turned or uh, closed off, right? But yet in the morning, when the guy asked you this question, let's, let's go to that. Access road. This is not a road, though. It's closed down. It's not even paved. And why are you on it? Have My you, GPS told me to. You're no, not answering the question. This should have been closed down. Should have not. No, it should be open. It should have be open. Somebody? This should be open. Yes, I have a record on the way. This should be open. This isn't even a. Bro, this road leads to a lake. A dirt road and a lake. It's a wash out there. This is an on ramp. The only the cones way. that are right here are blocking the. Uh, not block. It's not even blocking. It's just warning people of the ditch. You can't see this at night. There needs to be cones 
right here at the front blocking this. If you guys are doing road work, that should be this should only be open when you guys are out here. At night, you guys need to, you guys are supposed to put cones all all in front of here blocking it. So let's uh let's piece this together, shall we? Because you said in this in this video right here. Well, there's no cones right here. I, this was 4 a.m. No, this is construction man. You should have right. pulled it no, in no, here no, in the no. first place. Listen, the nah, GPS. I ain't talking to you. I'm pissed. Okay. I got to get my truck through here first thing this morning. All right. So you saying that he was mad at me when it was their fault. Let's, let's talk about that, driver. So the first video, you over here trying to, what, make it their fault that you drove in the ditch and it was supposed to be their a responsibility of uh, putting cones up there that don't make no sense guy that don't make no sense that at least it don't make no sense to me and see you caught yourself bro you caught yourself just a tad because when the guy asks you well why are you on the road well you know my gps uh uh uh, uh. not a road though it's closed down it's not even paved and why are you on it my you gps told me to you know oh, exactly Exactly. It's your fault, bro. Your fault. Following the GPS. Now, listen, GPS is a tool. But if the GPS told you to go right, it must have told you to go right because the other entrance road is on the side of that service road, my guy. You wasn't paying attention. Then you said it was dark. Bro, you ain't have your lights on? You ain't have your lights on? Oh, it's dark. I can't see. If you can't see, bro, you don't need to be driving at the dark. You need to go and get your eyes checked, my guy. I'm sorry. You need to go and get your eyes checked. Yes, you do. You need to go and get your eyes checked. Because if the GPS tells you to go right, and you wasn't paying attention, then that's your fault. That's your fault. That's not their fault. It's not their responsibility to, to, to put barrels and everything like that. It's your responsibility to make sure that you're driving where you're supposed to be driving to. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. But yet you're the same driver that, that's over here bad mouth and swift and everything. Oh, Swift. Oh, Swift. It's a straight line back. Straight line back. You're making it more difficult than it is. What in the fuck? Why are you turning that way? Just straighten your wheel up. Oh, my God. Now he's going to give up. Oh, my God. Swift, are you kidding me? It was a straight line back. Hmm. That don't sound... You know, you, you, what you do, you, you, you chose violence, my guy. And when you chose violence, the whole TikTok trucker community came together and bruh, woo, bruh. <laughs> I think what you need to do is to delete this, delete this account and stop, stop trying to make excuses because right now my guy you looking bad bro you looking real bad my guy like i said before you 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 stopped yourself pretty short of saying that the gps got you in the pickle which your gps actually did it got you in the pickle and you didn't pay attention but what about this right here when you said your gps brought you to the canada border my GPS literally took me to the border crossing place and it's closed, I guess. So now I'm trying to back this shit the fuck up. Oh my God. Bro, you. <laughs> but yet you're the same driver that talks about Swift, though. Oh, Swift. Oh, Swift. It's a straight line back. Straight line back. You're making it more difficult than it is. What in the fuck? Why are you turning that way? Just straighten your wheel up. Oh my God, now he's gonna give up. Oh my God, Swift, are you kidding me? It was a straight line back. I'm confused. I'm, I'm confused. I, I'll, 
How can a bad driver talk about another bad driver? Just because it's swift, that, that, that gives you the entitlement to talk about the company? Let's talk about you, which we're doing right now. Don't worry, we'll find out where, where, where you work at because this is the internet. The internet never sleeps, bro. How about this situation right here? So, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, you, you, you and you, and you're over here bad mouthing Swift, Swift, man, you bad mouthing Swift. I mean, you do everything is wrong in this video, everything. Well, we doing about what sixty five in this video, about seven you know, sixty five in this video, and you over here dancing and all like that, TikTok dancing in the truck, bro. While the truck is moving, who does that? TikTok dancing in the truck, your hands is not on the wheel, messing with me messing with the with with, with your phone. You're not a good look, my guy. Not a good look. Not a good look at all, my G. No, no, no. Not a good look at all. Mm -mm. Not a good look at all. You, you, you're doing everything wrong, but yet you want to talk about another driver and his inconsistencies. Look at yours, my guy. Look at yours. Dancing, no hands on the wheel. Suppose if you would have got a, 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 a steer tire blowout, you would have clearly went over that bridge, my guy. You would have clearly went over the bridge if you would have got a steer tire blowout. But yet you're over here making excuses and, and making the other people's fault for situations that you got yourself into. Well, there's no cones right here. I, this was 4 a.m. This is construction engine, man. You should have right. pulled in no, here no, no, in the no. first place. Listen, the nah, GPS... I ain't talking to you. I'm pissed. Okay. I got to get my trucks through here first thing this morning. All right. Uh, right. Let's talk about how this one truck driver, female truck driver, talking about you, and you're not supposed to be on there. Hi. Um, it's Lamar, right? Lamar Cruz? See, I found this really cool article online about you, actually. You're, like, kind of famous. See, I knew that was you based off of the very distinct tattoos on your face. Between the ages of 11 and 14 years old was your victim. I would suggest deleting your account while you can. We don't tolerate people like you in our community. A child. A child. Now I'm not gonna sit here and call you names. I'm definitely not gonna threaten you. I just want to get that information out there. And those face tattoos make you pretty easy to be identified. I really hope I don't see you in one of my parking lots. You're not one of us. Now that article, what she's talking about? That article. <laughs> Woo! That article that she's talking about is this one. Two Columbia men accused of sexually assaulting a girl in a Walmart parking lot. Police say two, sexually, two, two men sexually assaulted a young girl in a parking lot of Walmart in South Carolina. It happened in Chester on Sunday. Just before midnight, according to the police report, the girl approached some officers in Walmart, told them that she'd just been sexually assaulted. When police took the girl to be treated, officers arrested Lamar Cruz, 19 at the time, and Randall Huff, 21. 
Both men are from uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Cruz and Huff both face charges of criminal sexually conduct with minor with a minor between the ages of 11 and 14. They both deny bond and are in custody of the Chester County Detention Center. This article was posted back, well, it was updated October 23rd, 2019. 19, 20, 21, 22, maybe about three and some quarter years ago. Now, three and a quarter years ago, this young man was arrested, charged, and was convicted, right? Because he talks about this in the video that he's trying to go back, that, that he's trying to shoot back at my man, Slowpoke. Let's see that video. Hey, what's up, William Walker? <laughs> I really didn't want to make this video because I don't want to give you any publicity, but I just think it's funny because you keep bringing up my past, which is a completely different situation because as some of you guys don't know, I was lied to on an app for adults, and of course it's not a legal defense anywhere in the United States, which is why I was forced to accept the consequences and take a plea for a lesser charge. Um, I just think it's funny because some of my fans actually looked into your background as well, is this not you on Instagram thanking a, how old is she? Oh, a 14 year old girl for liking your picture? Interesting, oh wait, 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 my fault. She was 14 in 2018, meaning in 2012, she was eight. Huh, interesting. Also, what's up with your obsession for Asians? I mean, it's kind of strange. Not illegal, but it is kind of strange. Uh, and any grown man, or not grown man, a 60-year-old man that was using kick in 2012 was up to no good. See, I was 19. Made one mistake, owned up to it, dealt with it. It is what it is. And all this, you were at least 50. Not a good look. Just saying. I'm just saying, and my bad, slow walk. <laughs> my bad, bro. But I'm just saying. Slow walk did not get convicted though. Slow walk is not talking to uh, is a, is assaulting little girls in the Walmart parking lot with his buddy. Slow walk is on a truck. Slow walk is a truck driver. See what your fans, so called fans, did went to his page and found that one little caption. Now that could have been his family member because. You know, my family members, they they reach out to me and they say, hey, I like I like your page. I like your picture. I like this. I like that. Yeah. But I'm not on there saying, you know, you know, trying to assault them like you did. Now, see, my question to you, Lamar, is help me understand this. You got six years. But you got out in three months. Now you got lucky, all right, bro. You got lucky. You got you got out on a technicality. I'll give you that. You got out on a technicality, but yet, yet, mm, yet, you decide to go and get your get your CDLs. And now let me let me just put this aside for you right quick because everybody going to say this. So let me just say it first. Yeah, trucking. Truck, the trucking industry is weird. It's weird. It is filled with different ethnicities, different races, different foreigners, different people. See, we wouldn't even know your background, driver, if you hadn't opened up your mouth. Should have left well enough alone, bruh. Shouldn't be putting videos of your inact in and in, inconsistencies on display. You shouldn't have did that. And not think that nobody ain't gonna come and question you about it or challenge you about it. But yet you chose violence and got on swift drivers, 
Now everybody is getting on your case. It is so many rebuttals to this man's TikToks that I'm not even going to begin to react to. Just type, just type his name into the TikTok and boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy, the trucking community on TikTok, boy. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's all I have to say. And yet you're still trying to excuse it in this video right here. The reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. I'll say this right here on the fucking internet. But what about 12 year olds? Right? Because that's how old that girl was. She she was 12. She was 12 when you did horrible things to her in a Walmart parking lot. And then you bragged about it. You're bragging about, you know, getting convicted and turning a six-year sentence into three months somehow. Like, I don't know how any of this is funny because it's a child. It's a child. Or, or let's talk about your uh, P-Hub account and how you're talking about... uh having sex with fat autistic women and that's the flex that you're doing because you're taking advantage of them right like you brag about taking advantage of them you are 100 percent a disgusting person and the fact somehow tiktok verified your bitch ass is I, is unbelievable to me tiktok y'all really have to do better he, he is a registered sa offender and y'all have him verified now, as I said before about TikTok, man, TikTok is weird. Now, see, before he became the trucker, he was a rapper, an influencer. Maybe if you hadn't jumped in the truck and chose violence against Swift drivers, nobody would never knew about it. But you chose violence and now here you are man you're you're trending on tiktok on a kids app by the way on a kids app <laughs> and you call yourself a truck driver a truck driver bro before i get on up out of here let's let's rewind back to that to that train incident See, mine got to be raised up all the way. This ain't fair. But yeah, this thing is broke because the thing already went through. I don't know what to do. There's another trucker over there. Don't know what to do. Those people can turn. We oh, tell them thank you. See, let window down. And say thanks, man. That's it. Appreciate it. Thank you. This ain't fair. Mine got to be raised all the way. Bro, you in the truck. You're a truck driver. You're the so-called professional. You can't be bitching about small stuff. Now, suppose they would have went over there and raised it up and the train just happened to come out of nowhere, which trains do, by the way. They do come out of nowhere and you decide to, you know, believe what the other people do and they raised up the gate to let you through. You got lucky again, bro. Lucky again, man. But unfortunately for you, luck is eventually going to run out. Drivers, let me know your... <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about this guy in the comments below, man. This this was a lot to unpack. And uh again, I do appreciate you guys watching. And um and yeah, this this is just something that that touched my heart today. And um, you know, it's already bad enough that this guy did what he did years ago, but you know, over here, bad mouthing another driver after you, you know, a a after what you done. 
It don't make no sense to us. Big cheese got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't.